such a crazy world today and and people just were so lost wandering wandering the streets and, and trying to find things that to satisfy our hearts desires going from one pub to the next on Friday nights Saturday nights trying to satisfy but it's never enough is it guys? Always chasing something. Always looking. One girl to the next. But never satisfied. No. And the Bible speaks in, in Isaiah, one of the, the great prophets of the days that we're living in today. Where evil is called good. And good is called evil. Things that once were, were seen as, as being wrong are now called right. And our generation is, is falling apart. And I've, I've wandered the streets, I've, I've done things that I'm not proud of. And I chased a different high. But every high has its low. And people think it's cool. I used to think I was a cool kid. Always skateboarding the streets and having a good time. But always wondering, man, there's got to be more than just having fun. Our life is so short. Each day goes by, time seems to be speeding up. As the things in the world get crazier all around us. But in Isaiah chapter 12, it speaks of the wells of salvation. The wells of salvation. The wells of living water. And you can drink of the things of this world over and over and over, but you're always going to be thirsty for something else. Hungry for things of this world. But you're always going to want another meal. It just doesn't satisfy. You want dessert, but the dessert isn't enough. You're thinking about the next meal. But truly, the, the wells of salvation that Jesus talks about in the Gospel of John, He has water that, that quenches the thirst of weary souls. Those who are lost, those who are hopeless. And I've been there. I struggled with, with suicidal thoughts. I mean, today the suicide rate is skyrocketing. And it's only getting worse. People are hopeless. People are, are tired of religion. I'm tired of religion. Religion doesn't save people. A relationship with the Creator does. That is the difference. The difference between religion and a relationship with Jesus Christ is that religion you have to work your way to God. That's what I used to believe when I was, when I was doing psychedelic drugs. I, I thought I could climb my consciousness to a higher level and reach God. But in reality, God became a person. He came from heaven above into the world below and he was filled with compassion for those who are broken those who are lost those who are in need of salvation and you can only find that in christ not religion but christ the person not the organization not the corporation that we see in christianity today no the person Yeshua, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. There are people that want to rule this world and, and take control. 
the powers that be, as they say. But their time is temporary. Our life is so short. Their life is so short. And eternity is forever. All right. I've got friends in high school who died, car accidents, <laughs> drug overdoses. None of us are guaranteed tomorrow. And the only hope that we have of life, everyone here who can hear my voice loves their life. None of us wants to die. But the fact is, one out of one people die. There's no getting around it. You can, you can walk by, you can scoff at the words that I'm saying. But deep down in your heart, you know what I'm saying is true. The truth. You can only do two things with the truth. You can reject it and pretend that it's not true and live a lie chasing things that don't satisfy or you can face the hard <laughs> truth that will set you free. And it's the very things that you hold on to that will actually set you free when you let go of them. But it's, it's a leap of faith. And faith is a crazy thing that doesn't make sense to the, the human mind. Human understanding can't comprehend the things of God. Only the Spirit of God can. And so I'm inviting you to taste of the well of salvation, to taste of the living water, to know your Maker. Jesus says in John chapter 17 that to know the Father is eternal life. To know the Father, to know God, is eternal life. Hallelujah. To have life now, and life abundantly. And it is only found through a relationship with Christ. And I hope that those who are listening, that you're walking by and you're thinking, man, this guy's a fool. <laughs> What an idiot talking about this God stuff. Doesn't he know that we, we came from nothing? We're just here by chance? That's a lie from the pit of hell. See, there, there's a war going on right now as I'm speaking. A war for your very soul. And there is a devil. You look at the world, the evil that is in this world. There is a devil, and, and he'll give you all kinds of pleasures. He'll keep you distracted by things going on around you, just so that you won't believe that he exists. But I serve a God who is far greater than any devil, who can save any soul who humbles himself and turns to Him. And this is the day of salvation, guys. It's the day of salvation. You can, you can laugh, you can smile, but one day you're going to meet your Maker. You're going to stand before Him, just as I will. And the only way that I can be saved is by the blood of Christ. And the same is for every person standing here. So I plead with you, Think about the words that I'm saying. God wants you to know Him. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. And He will lift you up. It's an amazing thing. I don't, I don't believe in coincidences. 
I believe in a God that, the same way a, a computer programmer knows every detail of, of the computer, he knows the, the smallest details, the finest things that only he can understand. And God knows each one of you. He knows, he knows the very hairs on your head. He knows the thoughts that you have when you're alone and no one else is around. The loneliness that you may feel. That you're trying to find in a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Trying to find in, in pleasures. He knows the, the heartbreak that you go through. And he wants to see you free. And he can set you free. As he has me and many others who are standing here today. He is a good God. And I hope and I pray that you will come to know him. Because things are changing very quickly. And 2020 seemed like a bad year. But I'm going to bring some even worse news to you. 2021 is going to get worse. Whether you like it or not, things are going to get more difficult in the days to come. Here in North America, we, we don't really see insane poverty. But I grew up in the Philippines, a nation that is riddled in poverty and broken people. That some of the stories I could tell you would... It would make you sick to the stomach. I've seen horrible things. People that, families of eight, living in a house that's the size of some of your bathrooms. It breaks my heart. And we live in such luxury. We throw away thousands and thousands of dollars of food. Like it's whatever. Not a big deal. When I was in the Philippines last year, I saw families where they would get a bag of rice, a four kilo bag of rice for the entire week, a family of six. Just rice, that's all they had. And maybe a couple, a couple cans of sardines. It's a sad world, and this is just the beginning. A third of the world will perish due to famine, the Bible says, in the days to come. And there's only hope. There is only salvation from these crazy things that are coming on this earth through Christ. Hey, buddy. He is a good God. Amen. And I'm so grateful for what He has done. Setting His Son. And I go and crucify Him on our behalf. It's looking good. Sounding good. <laughs> Come to him today. Hey, Cry out to him you sing so well. in desperation, and he will hear you. He will hear you. Simon's so high. If you're willing to humble yourself, well, you got a great voice. There, you're going to be our seat mayor. You sang the mayor right here, right? Yeah. Sometimes you gotta hit the bottom of the barrel, as they say, before you can look up. You gotta look up. You gotta look up. Today, this is the day of salvation. This may be your last chance. You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. On the dare with. But I pray for the souls. 
but that's, that's good. Though. Though. That's good. Yeah. That means yeah. that there's I been a lot of people. I would say it's by the, uh, and I hope that you're willing to come, right come to the cross uh, to find salvation. <laughs>